So how about this? What is more customizable? Would it be open source or proprietary? Um, I would say open source in general tends to be much more customizable, right? Like the code is out there. That generally means you can, you have a lot of freedom to customize and it's built in that mindset. You know, anything that's open source is generally built in a mindset that, hey, there's this whole community of people that want to use this thing. Let's make sure as much as possible is customizable. Um, that's not to say that proprietary systems aren't customizable, but generally not to the same degree. Um, you know, you don't want to be in there modifying the core uh, of Drupal or WordPress, you know, because then that breaks things, you, you know. You've got this core in both systems that stay stays the same and gets upgraded with security fixes, but everything else outside of the core, um, you can customize. And that's not always true with proprietary and much less often, I would say. With proprietary systems, you, I mean, software, you think about it, there's lots of things around the edges that they will make you know, quasi open or they'll provide an application programming interface and an API so you get data in and out. Uh, yeah. And you can have third-party programs interact with with the software in some way. You know, HubSpot has got thousands of such integrations. So um, that's how you typically can start with a proprietary platform, maintain control over its user interface and over its uh, just the look and feel of it, uh, but at the same time allow other programs and other other software bases to interact with it. But when you get to open source you're much, you can get much further in. You can really get your hands in, inside the code and bend, bend it to your will and make things do, you know, make things work the way you think that they should work. So, um, and, and the point I was also just previously was gonna make about the way that uh, open source and commercial software is, occasionally you will see an open source platform that goes commercial, but it doesn't go completely commercial. I mean, you know, Red Hat Linux being an example where you'll take a version and then you'll market that in some way. Um, and then of course, in open source, people do build whole businesses around creating plugins, creating modules, charging for that. So, um, but again, it's just this idea that it's a mindset that you're buying into. In one case, you're saying, I'm part of a community and we own, and you know, this is, this is common ground that we all stand on and we all own it and interact with it versus proprietary. It's behind a wall someplace and I might be given access points in that wall where I can reach in and I can make some changes or I can get my program or my code base to talk to that, that proprietary uh, code base. But it's, it's just very locked down. Uh, so it's, to some degree, it's what makes What's your company's culture? What makes you more comfortable? Um, you, you are definitely going to be much more readily able to customize the code if you're starting with an open source uh, platform than the other way around. That's practically just encompassed in the definition of the terms.